thank you so much for tuning in. Today, my son and I did a little shopping at Home Goods, and I'm gonna show you a couple of things that we picked out. Our house is coming along so slowly, <laughs> but we are so, so happy with the progress. The kitchen has gone through some major progress. We're still doing a little bit of painting around the house, so it's not 100%, and we haven't really started decorating because we still have contractors in and out. The walls are being painted occasionally like here and there so right now we are just doing the final touches that we need to do finishing up our master bathroom and everything and then after that is when i will really really start honing in on the decor of our home i have already started doing the decor in my office so instead of having my desk in the middle kind of floating in the middle of the room i decided to move it over to the side and it opened up the entire space which i know that was an option earlier but i really love the way it looked in the middle but i know that for everything else that i want to be able to do in this room putting the desk the side it was going to be the best option and it looks really really good there because I got to finally put together the gallery wall which I've been kind of like putting together in my head so I went to Hobby Lobby and I'll do a separate video on that because that can be like a long video in itself so I just wanted to show you a couple of things that we got from home goods and for our kitchen I will show you um, the progress that we made in the kitchen So this is the first area we stopped in. I love the look of Ray Dunn. I think it's so cute, but I just am not ready to commit to all of that stuff. I really do love this tiered, I don't know what it's called, like a, anyway, tier serving tray. It's really cute. I found these other ones here. I would love to maybe put that on the island and decorate it, but I really don't know how I wanna do that. And then I've already filled my shopping basket with some of these refrigerator organization boxes. I'll show you later in the video how I use them. And then of course, for the little guy, we had to pick out some toys. We do a little toy shopping together. And then I really love this painting, but I really don't know if my daughter will go for it. Sometimes she loves stuff that I pick out and sometimes she doesn't. So I'm gonna pray that it's there if she wants it. And then this pillow is adorable. She is obsessed with unicorns, but honestly, if we add one more thing to her bed, it's probably going to explode with unicorn stuff. More wall decor, which is all so cute. And then I'm looking for a planter to put in our entryway. I love these, but I'm still looking for one. I didn't find any plants at Home Goods today, but I'm gonna go back and see if I can find another one. And I really want one of these kind of uh, tiered shelves for my office, but I don't know if I want one on wheels. And then for our kitchen island, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, I want something low to decorate it. And I thought having like a trio of these plants would be really cool. And then also for my office, I want to have things on my desk to help organize stuff. And the bathroom section of Home Goods is a really cute space to buy like little ceramic dishes to put stuff in. So let me know what you guys think. Should I go all white? Should I do silver? Should I do marble? Starting off, this is such a cute, cute piece of wall decor. It says lashes of the week and it gives all these different styles of lashes with the days of the week. It's so cute. It goes perfectly, perfectly with my decor up here, which I'm probably gonna be putting it on the opposite wall over here. Right now I have a garment rack right there. And then also to put on my garment rack, I wanted to buy some different colored hangers. We have all, I have all black felt hangers in um, our master closet. And so right, you'll see right here, I have them all right there, but I thought I would have like a different color set of hangers on the garment rack to just have a little bit more pop. So I can't wait to switch all of those out. And then also for my office, I bought this little tiered rack with the mirrored base. And this was in their bathroom section, but I thought it would be perfect to put on my desk. And then also for our refrigerator, I was watching a couple of organization videos for the kitchen. I buy a lot of fruit that I like to eat cold. I don't like to have fruit room temperature. Um, if anyone else is like that, please let me know. So we have a mini fridge that we're gonna be using as a kid's fridge, but I wanted to also be able to separate things in their refrigerator and also in our refrigerator. So I just started off with these few items. I'm going to see how it works out. If I can fit more, I will buy more, but I just wanted to see how it all will work out. So these were 
$2.99 each, <laughs> so affordable. And I got two of them. And then I got this one right here, which is a little bit bigger and it's got this really cool kind of silicone pad underneath it. And this was $4.99. Oh, I forgot to tell you the prices of these. This was $14.99 for this tiered shelving. These hangers here were $9.99, so, so affordable. If you want to switch out your hangers in your closet, it makes the world of difference <laughs> to do that. Instead of plastic hangers, you really, really need to change it up. And these are so affordable. For 25 pack for $9.99 is great. And then I also got back to the kitchen stuff. I got this organizer for eggs. I mean, who really needs this <laughs> because an egg has its own little carton, but I just thought it would be really great to kind of have everything look organized, especially if I'm gonna have some of these other bins in there. And then I also have been looking for new baking sheets. The ones we have are so old and gross. So I wanted one that was whiter because we have these copper sheets that we can bake with to make it more crispy. And they're really wide, so they usually hang off of the baking sheets we have, but now this is a wider one. And unfortunately, they only had one at our home goods, um, the one that I went to, so I decided to just grab the one that I have. I found some more on Amazon that are rose gold, which I think would look great in our kitchen. So I'm thinking about getting those, but this was only $6.99. And then, Got this beautiful tray. It's um, it's wooden, but it looks metal, and it's so so pretty. And it uh, it scratched off here, but it was nineteen ninety nine. So so affordable. This is going to go on to our living room couch where we don't have a we actually don't have any coffee tables, just because I just feel like it's really dangerous for the kids because they're just at that level where they'll knock into the counters and stuff like that. So we haven't had a coffee table like forever, really like forever. <laughs> so what we've been doing is just having a, uh, what I have is a cutting board, a really huge rectangular cutting board as our kind of like tray that we sit down our food or our drinks, but this is a little bit more decorative and it's um, round so you can fit a lot more and plus it has this edge. The cutting board obviously doesn't have an edge so anything can just fall off, but we don't put any like open drinks or anything. We put like bottles of water. This is going to be very handy and look beautiful. And then we are going to be going to Palm Springs. And so I got these really cute floaties. This this is from age one to three. Our son is uh, three and a half, and this might be too small for him, but we shall see. I just love going in the pool. This is great because it has this side for an adult and this side for a baby, so you can just walk around the pool. And even though you know we've always just been holding him or he's in his puddle jumper and swimming around, this is also great when he just wants to go around the pool, you know, the deep end or whatever, and we can just swim with him and have him walk around the pool. And then my daughter has been dying to get a donut floaty. So I surprised her with this. She's super excited. We have a giant, giant pretzel floaty and a giant, giant unicorn that we actually gave away because in our last house we had a pool, but this house we decided not to get a pool. And so um, we don't use those anymore, but I told her I would get something smaller and so she wanted a donut floaty. So I picked up this box of three goggles. I thought it was such an amazing price. These are youth goggles and the price was only $4.99. We're gonna be going to Palm Springs. We're gonna be spending a lot of time in the pool and we're always losing or misplacing goggles. We also picked up this Hungry Lion Game by Discovery. It's super cute. You take this a foam ball launcher and then you feed the lion food in there and then it counts how many you have and it ends up in their stomach. So I thought, well, that's an interesting game. But then it says that you're feeding the lion. So then when you feed it, it makes a sound. So I thought, okay, well, it's not bad. It's not like you're harming the lion, but <laughs> we, we will definitely be encouraging that we are feeding the lion food and the food is gonna end up in the stomach. Um, rather than what it kind of <laughs> looks like it would suggest. But yes, you're feeding the lion. Okay, so this is our entryway, and this is the latest contraption that we have going on in our entryway. We need to get this wall right here and this wall right here re-drywalled and textured because it was really, really off. So we're just waiting for all of that to dry, and then it's gonna be painted. We're gonna be able to put up our light fixtures, our sconces, right here. These are the wall sconces that are gonna go over the lights and it's going to be a really great addition to our entry ray. Everything looks pretty good, all stacked in here, separated a few things. Got some cuties, some lemons, oranges, some other things here, and then this egg container right here. 
just made sure that I took out the expiration date so that we're not totally confused about the freshness of our eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the fridge. Everything looks really good. I'm loving, loving how organized this already looks and I will definitely be going back for more. Okay, so everything looks like it is good to go. These all fit right here and I've got the eggs right in here in this little, uh, what do you call this? Little, I don't know what you call it. I guess it's supposed to be for wine or a beverage or something like that, but that looks good where it is. And I think I'm definitely gonna get more of both of these, this size and this size. Right now I've got my grapefruit in here and um, I'm pretty sure I can use these bins on other areas up here and then also down here. But um, we also have a kid's refrigerator, which is actually a beverage refrigerator, but we're gonna use it as both beverage and kids fridge. So we've got this level right here, that uh, little space right there, and then we've got these pullouts right here for drinks. I'll show you really quickly what I'm gonna make myself for dinner. And I have a little, maybe a cup of rice right here with some fresh spinach. And then I also chopped up some parsley, some tomatoes, and some cucumber. And then what I like to do is top that on top of this bowl right here. And then I add some low sodium soy sauce and a little bit of lemon. And if I want a little bit more flavor, I'll add some other seasonings, but usually that's my go-to. It's super easy, very filling, but it's not gonna leave you feeling bloated or yucky or too full. And if you are, you know, if you wanna add some meat, you can add some fish or some chicken or whatever you prefer, some tofu. But I like to eat it like this, especially on days where I feel like I just wanna be really clean. And it's really easy to put together, you guys. None of it is cooking except for the rice. And nowadays you can buy stuff at Trader Joe's where you just pop, pop it in the microwave, organic brown rice or white rice, or you can even do quinoa. Very healthy. And if you haven't watched my last video that I did with my friend Jen Martinson, she is a functional nutritionist and we recorded and posted our second video where we talked about detox. And she mentioned how healthy adding parsley or cilantro to your dishes can be. And I didn't even think about doing that because I'm always doing veggies or kale in my smoothies and carrots and stuff like that. So now I'm adding parsley to all of my savory meals to have that added flavor and added health benefits. So try adding that to your meals as well. Added the soy sauce and lemon, and I'm just gonna mix it all up. So it turns out to be kind of like a salad because of all the veggies, but then you have that warm bed of rice and you mix it all up. So it's a little bit more hearty than just a regular salad with veggies. Gosh, you guys, I'm actually alone downstairs for the first time today. So here is our kitchen so far. We have made some huge, huge progressions and since the last video that I posted with our update. So I just wanna point out a few things to you guys if you haven't already noticed, if you don't follow me on Instagram. We got our kitchen island installed. It is absolutely beautiful. In my post that I recently put up on my Instagram, I said that I joked around with the installers that I would actually cry when they would lay this marble quartz down. And when they were putting it down, it took six guys, plus my husband was here and our superintendent, it took all of them to lay it down flat and make sure it was perfect. And they were struggling with how heavy it was. And so I was just standing here trying not to like be in their faces, but I was taking pictures and video and it was very intense, but they made it look beautiful and tears came into my eyes when they started pulling off the blue protective tape. I couldn't help it and I was just joking. I said, oh my gosh, you guys, I actually have tears in my eyes. And these bar stools right here are temporary. We had these in our last homes that we lived in and we just wanted to put it there to see what they looked like, but we're actually gonna get new bar stools that have the back to them because our kids are little and once they sit here for like breakfast or when we do like, you know, dinners around this table, we don't want them to potentially like lean back and fall off. If you guys can have someone in your house install one of these, it is so amazing. You just have your little plugins, regular plugins, and then you have your USB cords. I don't really know what to put on top of it. If you guys have any, any ideas at all, any tips of what I should put on top of it, and even if it's just seasonal, something that I can decorate it with where it's not going to look too little, but also not overpowering. And I really love minimal styles, so I would love some input from you guys. Another thing that is new is our chandelier in here, which is incredibly gorgeous. I'm gonna turn down the ISO here so you guys can see it. I love, love, love this chandelier. It actually came down a lot farther, like way down here, 
the chain links did so you can hang it really low but our ceiling you know we're not putting this on a super high ceiling so we made it as close as we could without sacrificing the uh, distance so that it could appropriately hold the chandelier on the outsides and it is gorgeous i don't know if you can see all of the different colors you've got rainbow colors coming through all of the little crystal pieces we've got crystal balls on the inside um, a huge row and then we've got kind of like rectangular pieces on the outside to so make it really really sparkle and then we also got our microwave and second oven installed i don't know if that was installed last time but i don't think so so we got our microwave right here it's really interesting because it's a dial which which at first we were like, oh, there's no keypad, but it's really easy to use. And we like it nice and high. We thought maybe we would want it lower for the kids, but they're still really little. So we don't want them to put anything in the oven or in the microwave accidentally and like, oh, I can cook this for myself. And then this is our second oven right here. I don't really show it a whole lot on my videos, but I love to cook and especially I love to bake. So it's gonna be really nice to have, you know, something baking in here while I've got something cooking in there. So we still need to get our filler for there and then we're going to have crown molding installed up here which we are waiting for i actually have no idea why it's taking so long as you can see up there we have the cabinets going all the way to the top and then the crown molding right there i don't think we're going to be able to put the crown molding all the way to the top but we are going to have it filled in right there and then we're still waiting for our new door there and our new doors here they are going to look exactly like the um the cabinet this is called shaker style and uh, the handles still need to be installed there sorry it's just a mess this is temporary we're going to get one of those gel mats for the floor here we had it in our old house but it's brown so it doesn't really match in here so we're going to donate that and then we just finished dinner so i'm sorry for the mess but Everything got properly installed here. We've got hand soap, dish soap, our faucet. We've got the Insta Hot right here, which I use like 50 times a day. I love it. We had it in two houses. Um, two houses ago, we had an Insta Hot. We didn't have it in our last house, and I was begging my husband to make sure he had it installed. But it is coming along so nicely. We got the hood measured for uh, that area right there. It's going to come down about 36 inches. They didn't install it because we're gonna have that whole thing tiled with backsplash and we got a really, really beautiful design for our backsplash. It's an arabesque design and we're looking for kind of like a pearl finish to it where it's kind of reflective, but not overpowering. So that is the kitchen. It is almost, almost done. So exciting. Say hi Capri. Oh, that's a good girl. She needs to get groomed and so does Chloe, but I think I'm gonna keep her furry. We usually get the dogs groomed really, really short and they look like puppies, but I think Capri looks really cute, a little bit more fluffy. So we're gonna do the teddy bear face and then just clean up her paws around her mouth, her little butt. Right Capri, my sweetheart?